So hi guys, um, my bread is in the oven and um, I'm going to go ahead and get the stuff thrown together for the Panera turkey apple burgers because I'm going to let it sit out in the fridge and hang out till I'm ready to um, cook them later on this evening. So I forgot one thing. Let me do that. You have about a pound and a half of ground turkey and to that you're going to add a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Now I normally use crushed matzo because I usually have it on hand all the time. I don't happen to right now. So panko it is for the day. But I actually like the, the, the um, I like that the matzo takes flavor so easily. It's one of my favorite things about it. Okay, so you have your one and a half pounds of turkey, your half a cup of breadcrumbs. Then we're going to do two tablespoons of apple butter. I have the best neighbor in the world. I tell you what, she's just an amazing lady. This is made, of course, by the Amish. And I know this may sound like a really weird recipe, but in all reality, it is very, very good. Okay. So we have the two tablespoons of apple butter. On this plate, I have most of the rest of the seasonings. I have three quarter teaspoon of salt, which is right here. It doesn't look so white because I smoked it. Because it tastes really good. Um, I have a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. I have a tablespoon of parsley. I have two tablespoons of ketchup. And I have, now you can use black pepper if you want. I have jalapeno pepper. Just uh, I put them in the dehydrator, grind, it, grind them up, and I just use it like black pepper. Now this is not exactly Panera's recipe. But you know, you use things and fix them to suit your your taste buds, you know? And uh, that over there. Then over here, I have three tablespoons of grated onion. And this green is coming from this, which I'm letting thaw out. This is, it's almost there, but it's not quite... This is actually the chicory that I pick from outside that I told you is my heartburn medicine. I mix it with olive oil and um, I freeze it in cubes. So I'm kind of waiting for that to defrost and that will also go in here too. And that's, that's all for the recipe. And you just mix it together. And like I said, if you, you know, you don't have to let it hang out in the fridge. You can go ahead and shape it into patties and you're just going to cook them till they're done just like you would really any other kind of burger but I kind of like letting the flavors just hang out and get really soaked through the meat and um, then I'm going to be eating these with my challah bread and you can get these um, recipes for those who have had Panera or for those who have it or don't know um, just type in uh, Panera recipes and it'll bring you right to their page and they have some of the best bread which they do recommend for the breadcrumbs in here but like I said I don't have so I use what I have but they have some of the best bread and soup and sandwiches oh it's just it's a treat to be able to go there sometimes okay so this is what the mixture looks like and this will be hanging out and by that time this will be defrosted and I will get the burgers cooked up and get them on my hollow bread. So I will try to remember to post a picture of what this plate looks like. I sometimes have problems remembering to do that. So if I forget, I'm sorry. Y'all know what probably what turkey burgers look like anyway. Um, and the hollow, by the way, smells really good right now. It's got just a few more minutes to go. That's all for right now, and I will try to add a picture to this video. You'll have a great weekend. God bless you.